Hello, I'm Tom Booker, Senior Instructor. Thank you for joining me. This is our assertiveness lesson from Speak Up and Get Along by Scott Cooper. We are talking about the tools of the Blue Jay, ways of speaking up for ourselves. And we've been talking about tool number two, the no thanks. In this lesson, we'll be talking about peer pressure and using the no thanks. Now, kids who are your own age are called your peers. When peers try to get you to do things that they are doing, that's called peer pressure. And it can be very hard to resist. People naturally want to be liked, and doing things that friends ask seems like an easy way to get them to like you. Even good friends might try to talk you into things you're not sure about. Maybe they just want you to go to parties, movies, or other activities that you're just not interested in. Or they may try to get you to do something that is dangerous. But you'll be happier and safer, and you'll show self-respect if you think and act independently. You can make your own choices and say no to other kids when you need to. That's where this tool comes in, the no thanks. The no thanks just means saying no when you need to. Like using the power I, saying no to friends, Older kids and adults can make you nervous and uncomfortable. You might worry about hurting another person's feelings or about being teased or not being liked. You might be afraid of making the other person angry or disappointed. For worries like these, there are three things that can make saying no easier. The first is self-respect. This is the biggest help. If you have respect for yourself, you know that you're too important to risk your safety. You also know that you are the best person to make decisions about yourself. The second is honesty. Be honest about how nervous you are, even as you're saying no. For example, you can say something like, I don't want you to feel bad, but I've just got to say no. Or, I like being with you, but I can't do this. Now, the third is a no, buddy. Get a friend to back you up. If your nobody says no right along with you, it can be a lot easier for both of you. Now, next time, we'll be talking together about ways to practice the no thanks of being courteous and respectful, but firm, saying no when we have to. That will be next time. Thank you for joining.